Bunny and the Beast. Once upon a time, an enchantress turned a handsome prince into a terrible beast when she discovered his selfishness. She left behind an enchanted rose. If the prince did not find true love before the last rose petal fell, he would remain a beast forever. In a village nearby, Belle lived with her father. More than anything, Belle wanted an adventure like those she read about in her beloved books. Gaston wanted to marry Belle, but she refused. Belle thought he was a beastly boar, and Gaston didn't understand why she was always reading. It's not right for a woman to read, he said. Belle's father, Maurice, was an inventor. His latest invention was an automatic wood chopper, which he was taking to a contest at the county fair. You'll win first prize, Belle declared. On his way to the fair, Maurice got lost in the woods. A pack of wolves chased him to the gates of a nearby castle. Not sure what he would find inside, Maurice entered the castle grounds cautiously. Maurice could never have imagined the hideous beast that confronted him. Thinking Maurice had come to stare at him, the beast was furious. Without mercy, he locked this unwanted visitor in the dungeon. When her father's horse came home alone, Belle went in search of her father and found him locked up. Belle begged the beast for Maurice's freedom. Take me instead, she offered. The beast agreed, making her promise to stay in the castle forever. On her first night, Belle met the castle servants. The spell cast by the enchantress had turned them into enchanted objects. They were funny, friendly, and treated Belle like a special guest. At dinner time, Belle refused the beast's invitation to join him, which made him roar with frustration. He was anxious to end the spell, he felt Belle was a sign of hope. Miss Potts, the teapot, and Lumiere, the candelabrum, told him to be patient and above all kind. Later that night, Belle came upon the magic rose the enchantress had left behind. As Belle reached out to touch it, the beast appeared and grabbed the precious rose. Get out! he yelled. Belle fled the castle on her horse, but was attacked by the same wolves that had chased her father. Risking his life, the beast saved Belle. In the days that followed, Belle began to see the goodness in the beast. One evening, the beast again invited Belle to dinner. This time, she accepted. After dinner, the beast asked Belle to dance. As they whirled around the ballroom, the beast realized he was in love with Belle. Because of his love, the beast let Belle return home to see her father. When Gaston heard her speak fondly of the beast, he grew jealous and stormed the castle. Gaston stabbed the beast and then was accidentally knocked off the roof. Belle pulled the beast to safety. Please don't leave me, she sobbed. I love you. As she spoke, the last rose petal fell. Then a shower of sparks filled the air. The beast began to transform into a handsome prince. The enchanted objects were filled with joy as they too turned back into humans and watched their prince and Belle fall in love anew. The end.